Fourth ball shout originated 2003. For most of the time I've been projects manager. It's such a strong story, it's such an epic event, and it's all on our doorstep. And there's very, very little information about it. So people come in their thousands to Port Call and go back home and they never know about it. And I thought that really was wrong and we should change that situation. My name is Laura and I was a previous student at Bridgen College. I was studying art and design. We were the ones that took the bait in regards to the project. We were approached by them um, looking at the possible designs and aspects of the Sun Tampa and looking at, looking at it from a younger person's perspective. Uh, following that then we worked in groups within our year uh, working on different designs, different aspects, different materials, all those sort of things and then finally we presented them then to the people that were going ahead with uh, the project altogether. It makes me feel proud uh, in all honesty. I mean obviously I'm no longer a, a student at Bridgen College. I've you know, progressed on in my career since then but to be involved and brought back for its unveiling it's quite special. I think they generally wanted uh, something that uh, pictorially depicted the tragic event of that day. Um, and so a number of things were going through my mind. I wanted to, to make something that was very striking visually from a distance um, that related to boats. So uh, maybe a prow or a stern or something like that. And as people got closer, they would find that they could become more intimate with the, with the sculpture, find things going on on the surface. I think I started um, probably around about March or April in 2017, and then I worked on it virtually continuously every day, six days a week, um, until about September, October, or thereabouts. And then it began to get finished, I think around about October, November, I'd say it was completely finished. So a good nine months, really. My name's Hilary Stats Evans, and I'm a Creative Arts Lecturer at Bridgen College. Uh, we were contacted by Gary and the local society um, as a college and as a creative arts department. He had artefacts and information about this local event, this disaster of Sam Tampa, and he was aware that uh, people were forgetting the story and he, he knew that it wasn't his to hold and he wanted to share that and of course share that with young people and our art and design students um, developed work in response to the Sam Tampa disaster. It's great from the students' perspective. One, in that when I reached out to them, of course, many of them are graduates now, they've moved on and away from the college, and they were so thrilled that actually this thing that felt quite abstract at the time has, has come to fruition. Um, so that's really exciting for them that it was able to have that, that longevity, um, and also that they're aware of this story and that local community will be as, as such as well. I think it's really exciting. Well, they, I would hope that they have a visual memory of a tragic event and that the memorial will encourage them maybe to investigate a little further and find out why things have been carved onto the surface, what their meaning are, and just to involve them, um, hopefully to explore further one of Wales's worst maritime disasters.